In this programme, we'll meet some of the people at the receiving end of all these big changes in industry and the economies. We'll find out how they faced up to the loss of work, and we'll also meet some young people who, for the first time in their lives, are having to be work-wise. If work is becoming so difficult and demanding, what are schools going to do to prepare young people for it? Well, here's one approach, taking industry into school. These pupils at Glenwood High School, Glenrothes, run their own company. The managing director is Sarah Grant. The idea of the project is to set up our own company and find out how a company works and operates. And we did that by going around and visiting other companies and seeing how the production line worked. And um, when we came back, we, we thought about it and then we practised that in our own company. Hi, Mr Edmondson. This is Jason Harvey, Glenwood High School, doing Badges Unlimited. And I'm wondering if we could make some badges for you at any design or logo. Yeah. And I'm wondering if I could take some samples and leave it with your secretary. This exercise is part of a scheme called TVEI, Technical and Vocational Education Initiative, a government project to bridge the gap between schools and industry. We were lucky in the company because we got on so well in the organising and the production. We would have had problems if we hadn't got on so well because you depend on all the other members of the group and the production would have been slowed down a lot. A major part of the scheme is to give pupils practical experience of the new technologies. TVEI is controversial. It involves only a small number of pupils and it's still in its infancy. But it is giving some 5,000 secondary school students in Scotland the opportunity to use sophisticated equipment and do recognised courses of their own choice. Although I am a girl, I choose electronics because I feel like it's a job girls are doing now. I find that coming here helps me with my secretarial work. It introduces me more to the new kinds of equipment that are used in offices. I don't have to be very clever to come here because the computers here, but you use them at different levels. The acting coordinator of the TVEI scheme in Greenock is Brian Gardner. At uh, present there are six TVEI schemes in Scotland. Five of them started on uh, August 84. At, uh, the next project started a year later. There are likely to be possibly another eight TVEI projects starting in the near future. Another aspect of the, the project is the way in which it tries to break down some of the barriers uh, which may exist in some people's minds in relation to new technology. The youngsters, when they come into our, our unit and in the quarters in the base school, are given the opportunity to use the most sophisticated equipment that is presently available for education. They are not in awe of the technology, and they learn very, very quickly by having this confidence to get their hands on and use the equipment. They certainly don't stand back from it. The TVEI scheme has its critics. Some people say that it simply produces high-grade fodder for the newer industries, but realistically it's impossible to imagine that the clock will be turned back to the days when school was one thing and work was quite another. Employers these days like to have people coming to them straight from school who have had some sort of pre-work training, and so therefore most of the people in TVEI and their parents are really quite glad of it. But what about the school leavers who have to approach an employer without any old grades or hires to their name and without any pre-work training. Now, let's talk about your future. Survival. It's your survival. Alan Holmes is manager of the Black Nest Training Company in Dundee, set up to prepare school leavers for the youth training scheme and to find training opportunities for them with local employers. Now, if you didn't do well at school, what are we to do? This is where the youth training scheme is most important. Those people without qualifications are going to have an opportunity to get into work. Now, this is the idea I have about it. If you're at school, try and think of the 125 train, the fast Aberdeen to London train. You, if you didn't get any qualifications, have missed that train. It's gone. But life's not finished. There's still the old chuffer train coming through. It's going to be slower, it's going to be longer, and it's going to be harder. But it's going to get to the destination you want. Here we're providing an opportunity to get experience and work in a semi-industrial environment. Many youngsters when they leave school haven't got a clue what work is all about. The company takes on any young person eligible for the youth training scheme. No qualifications are needed. 
it helps them become employable to provide pre-YTS work experience, geared to the skills required in Dundee. And 65% are finding jobs afterwards. All the products made in the workshops are saleable. They are to customer requirements. They're, they're not just exercises that we have dreamt up. And only when they are ready, in terms of their attitude to this industrial area, do we then go to sponsors and say, look, would you now continue their training within the work environment? Nearly half a million young people are going into YTS next year. 52,000 of which is going to develop and uh, move...